What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using a very fun team on the rank master tier ladder. We're using a choice band Tyrantrum series 12 team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, just stop watching my videos. Get on out of here. Skedaddle. I'm just playing with you guys. Stay a little bit longer, but consider subscribing. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time. All you got to do is scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button to support me as a content creator. But this team right here was actually sent in by a fan, but I don't know why. But the name Draco and DK Trading really just like sparks like deja vu for me. So I feel like this is like somebody who makes teams for pokemon creator. so if anybody knows the team creator let me know or if the team creator is watching this let me know in the comment section down below i would love to plug your socials all that good stuff in the link in the description below but uh let's get after it let's get started with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have mimikyu over here mimikyu pairs really well with the ice rider calyrex as it can pop trick room and it as it actually is one of the best pokemon to pop trick room with the with the disguise ability alongside with that mental herb so it can't be taunted we got shadow sneak for first gen priority willow wisp to burn physical attackers trick room obviously to set that trick room and then protect for our fourth and final move Second Pokemon is going to be our first restricted mon. It is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex over here with the as one ability and the weakness policy as item. You get this thing in a trick room and you get that weakness policy proc, game's over. The game is over. Like, you, you know you are not stopping this Pokemon with weakness policy proc. It's just GG's. It is just GG's, especially when it goes first in the trick room. It's got Glacial Lance, high horsepower for coverage, protect, and it also has trick room, just like Mimikyu, to set up the team. Middle left is going to be our choice ban Tyrantrum over here. Pokemon that I don't think I used since like series six like a while ago but this pokemon is so cool cannot wait to get him in here do some big damage with him we got strong jaw alongside a choice band and then we got a bunch of biting moves we got fire fang thunder fang ice fang and crunch actually not one stab move but all strong jaw moves gotta love it especially with that choice band give it that extra damage boost we got Faramosa as our fourth Pokemon with Beast Boost and the Focus Ash. This thing can speed swap, giving our slower Pokemons a lot of speed. We also have Faint, e -Web for speed control, and Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Bulky Kai Ogre with Drizzle and the Salt Vest. Then we're rocking Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Thunder, which is like fairly normal moveset, but it works so well on a Kai Ogre. Final Pokemon on the squad is our support Sableye over here with Prankster and that lovely Eject Button. We got Fake Out for, you know, Flinch's turn one, Quash to make opposing Pokemon go last, Foul Play for big damage on physical attackers, and last but not least, we have Trick. So we can actually send the Trick or the Eject Button over to uh, an opposing Pokemon and then hit them and, you know, send them out of the battle. So if we think that a Pokemon's going to Dynamax, we can straight up Trick it round one. But guys, there's a team if you want to rank it for yourself. Now the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder. Look to get some wins with this Ty Ranchum team. First battle coming at you guys, and who would have guessed it? We're going up against a top tier meta team, obviously when I'm using an off meta team. He's got the Zassian Groudon, Charizard, Gastrodon, Grimstarl, and Incineroar team. You guys seen this so much on the rank ladder, but hopefully you can win it, grab yourself a win here in battle number one. But I want to see Tyrantrum's speed, first and foremost. So I might want to pop a trick room here. Let's see your speed, dude. 91, yeah, this might be a, this might be a trick room around here. We could go Mimikyu alongside Calyrex, and we could protect him one if we really want to. That is definitely an option. Or I could go Calyrex and Faramosa, which wouldn't be bad at all. I don't think I can just go on Mimikyu alongside Calyrex. It'll be solid. Or I, or I could roll in with High Ranch. Really cool Pokemon. Hmm. He does have Storm Drain Gash time. Definitely got to watch out for that. I'm thinking of rolling in with Calyrex and just protect him. But my problem would be if is if he doubles down into Mimikyu, which is definitely an option. I think he's going to lead Grimstrong, so I feel like we should be fine here. I'm going to go in with them too. I'm going to bring Tyrantrum in the back end and then our lovely little Kyogre. Gotta love it, right? Looking good? Feeling good? I dig it. I do dig it. All right, let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's just grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But my only problem with this lead would be is if he predicts a protect and like double sound him in the queue, then we're just screwed. Then we're just screwed. But yo, this is a jam. This is a jam. We are, we are coming to battle with this song on. I forget what this is from because I haven't played like story mode in so long. But this is a jam. This is an absolute jam. He's going to go charge hard Zassian, and we are kind of sitting in a tough little spot here. Um, I might have to let my Calyrex go down, or I could Dynamax him straight up. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do? You know what? I think I'm just going to... What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I was going to say, I might protect the Mimikyu. I might protect the Mimikyu and trick him with my, uh, Calyrex. This is tough. This is tough news. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. He probably thinks I'm protecting him with the Calyrex. I think I'm just going to throw him a little flip flop. Right? I'm throwing him a big time flip flop here. He's got to think I'm protecting him with the Calyrex and popping him, tricking him with Mimikyu. 
Then we're gonna flip it around, protect with the Mimikyu, and pop a trick room with Calyrex. Gotta always be thinking on your head. He's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna Dynamax. This is, this is scary. This is scary. This is definitely scary. Let's see what he does here. There's no way. There's no way he goes there from the Calyrex, right? I just don't see it happen. But now it's looking scary because he is Dynamax and Bizarre. Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone, please. Just leave me alone. Let's see how he plays one. We're protecting the Mims. Go ahead, Zassian. Straight into the Mimikyu. Try to take off my disguise. Behemoth Blade. Block. Blocked. Now go over into the, the Mimikyu here, right? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. What a play by me. We get off the trick room, which is gorgeous. Okay. So now we're sitting here. I could Dynamax the, uh, the Calyrex if I want to. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to burn the uh, Zassian. It'll burn on him. And I could Dynamax the... I could definitely Dynamax here, but I don't think that's my play. I don't think that's my play. I might have to save it for time range him. I don't know. What do I want to do here? I just Glacial Lance. But I definitely want to throw a burn. I definitely want to throw a burn onto the uh, Zass here. But yes, big time trick room play by Genius. So will o -Wisp is going to fly over here. And I could high horsepower or I could just go for a Glacial Lance. I don't lean towards a Glacial Lance just to get some chip damage onto the Czar. But at the same time, good high horsepower cross. Hmm. Go protect and just see what's gonna go what's gonna happen here. If I had to guess like another wildfire's coming in here. He's probably going for a behemoth blade over onto my Mimikyu. And then a wildfire into my my Calyrex. So yeah, I'm just gonna protect my Calyrex this turn. Just throw this burn, let my Mimikyu drop out, and then roll from there. That's my play. So we're just gonna go with that protect. Lovely little protect. The so protect comes out here. He's gonna end up protecting Zassian. So not a bad play. Not a bad play. As long as that Charizard goes after my uh my Calyrex, then I would like it. But let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's just gonna go for another wildfire. That's gotta go after my Oh, he goes after Mimikyu. Wow. Mimikyu's dead. Wow, dude. We could have just got off a nice little hit on him. Wow, he goes after my Mimikyu. Okay, so from here I could go into Ogre. And which I think Ogre's gonna be my play, right? Or do I just bring out Tyrantrum? I said we save Tyrantrum for the back end. I'm gonna go into Ogre at this point. But at this point, I could set the rain. Oh yo, he might go into a swap. He might swap here. Might swap. Might swap, so I might just thunder into Charizard. Then Glacial Lance across. Right? He might swap into Gastron, so I really don't feel like dealing with that. Which I think he's gonna do. So I'm just gonna do this, and I'm just gonna Glacial Lance on the spot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think he's gonna swap here. I really do. But if he doesn't, then we're sitting in a tough spot. But yeah. I think he's gonna swap the Zassian straight into Storm Dragon Gastron. And he might max guard to Charizard. We'll see. We shall see. But if he doesn't swap into Gastron on the next turn, I'm just going to send it. Right? So we have the speed, and then I can bring it. I can Dynamax Hagrid whenever I want. Yeah, that's actually a really good battle. Our opponent's playing really well here. Really, really well. Doing some good protects. Doing some good plays. We shouldn't have protected the Calyrex that turn. He's going to withdraw the Charizard. That's totally fine. Into Gastron? Ooh, that's tough news. That's tough news, because he's going to take on my Calyrex. And I'm going to have to Dynamax next turn. He's going to go into Gastron. Dang, dude, because Thunder's not going to affect it. What a smart play. Smart play. Which all Zassian too. So he double withdraws here. He double withdraws and he sends out Groudon. Okay. I'm going to Lansing, so that should be able to chip up, chip up some nice damage. We can't go for water moves anyway, so I'm just going to start sending Ice Beams. I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna to end up Dynamaxing my... Uh, I'm going to end up Dynamaxing my Ogre. Maybe drop some Ice. That's probably going to be my play. Dynamax over here. Save my strong draw for later. Wow, that did some ridiculous damage. That did some ridiculous damage. How much turn, or how many turns is left in, uh, in Trick Room? How many turns is left in Trick Room? Because Calyrex is definitely slowest on the field. And Glacial Lance can pick up the easy double kill. He can pick up the easy double kill. Because if there's two turns left in Trick Room, I would love to swap into my Tyrannosaur at this turn. Let's see. Let's see. Ogre. We have two more turns left in Trick Room. Yeah, I'm just going to swap him here. Tyrannosaur is going to fly out here. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to send another Glacial Lance at this point, right? Definitely got to be my play. Definitely got to be my play. Got to be my play. But our only problem here is... Uh, our problem is going to be when Trick Room ends, he can double protect and waste out this next turn. After we pick up this double KO. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is Gene's play. This is a great battle. This is a great battle. So he's going to end up withdrawing Groudon. I'm going to withdraw Kyogre. He's going to go into Zassian here. That's fine. 
That's fine. He's going to have to take this Glacial Lance. But it's going to be not very effective. But he doesn't protect Yashadon. We pick up a double KO. Or we pick up a KO, which is huge. We're going to withdraw you. I'm going to save me for the weather. And we're going to go on Tyrus. Yo, what a battle. What a battle. This is such a good battle. Such a good battle. But Gashon, please don't protect. He protects the Gashon. So Gashon's going to protect. But still, Gashon goes down next turn, right? I think it goes down next turn regardless, right? We have Tyrantrum out on field. So at this point, I'm just going to... What do I do? Go back into weather. I could definitely do that. Post a threat there. But I think I'm going to have to double down Zassian. Even though I think he's going to protect. His wildfire turn should be gone, which is quite annoying. But uh, this thing is going to get some leftovers HP, which I still think we KO, right? Yeah, we should still be able to KO that. There goes Wildfire chipping up again. Wildfire doing us dirty. And then I'm just going to go into a nice little strong jaw move. And what move should I should I go into? What would be my best move to go into here? Ice Fang, maybe? I'm trying to think. What Pokemon? He has a Charizard. Thunder Fang's not bad, but Thunder Fang doesn't do anything to Gashon. But I could take out Gashon here. Oh, but it doesn't do anything to... Uh, I think Ice Fang's going to be our best bet, right? Fire Fang. I do like Fire Fang, but he... Hmm. Only problem would be Fire Fang in the ring. I do love me some Fire Fang action. Hmm. I know he's going to protect the Calyrex here. I'm going to go to Fire Fang. I'm going to choice into Fire Fang, and I'm just going to pop Glacial Lance. He's definitely protecting Zacian. 100% protecting Zacian, right? He withdraws Gastro. Who's going to go into? He's going to go into Charizard. Okay. I'm cool with that. I was just gonna come in here. He's gonna protect here. No doubt in my mind he protects. And he protects us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we're just, this is tough, dude. This is a tough little spot here. This is a tough little spot because now he's just gonna take on my Calyrex and get off a Trick Room. Or stop the Trick Room. Which is real tough news. Which is real tough news. So Glacial Lance can come out here. This guy is just playing phenomenal. Phenomenal with the swaps. We do pick up some big time damage. All that Charizard. And I think Solar Power is gonna take him out, right? Yes. Solar Power picks up the KO. Beautiful. We don't get swept, but we were playing really well. We are playing really well. But our opponent's playing really well, too. So we have Tyrantrum ready to go. But our problem with Tyrantrum is he's going to get knocked by this ground, right? That he brings out. Or is he going to bring back out Gastron? He might bring back out. No, he's going to bring out Groudon. Oh, this is terrible. Um, so we can't pop a Trick Room. I'm going to have to protect here. Hmm. I'm going to go after you. I got to get rid of this Ascian. I'm going to have to protect this Pokemon. This is tough. This is tough because I think Tyrantrum just gets slapped on here. This guy's making making some great protects and great swaps. He really is. Do we still have Dynamax? We still have Dynamax. I have to remember that. I have to remember that. We still have Dynamax on the field. We can go for Behemoth Blade. Can we eat this? That's my only problem. Can you eat this? I don't think you can. I don't think you can eat this. Yeah, it's super effective. We're dead. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna have to bring out my boy here. He's going for blades, obviously. I I kind of saw this coming. He was gonna double down because blades obviously kills me or heavy sign would have. And we protect it. So uh, I get to bring out Kai Ogre now. Do you get to bring out Kai Ogre? And I'm gonna gonna have to Dynamax this guy. He's probably gonna swap the ground on just so we can get weather later. So what do I do? I don't know what I do. I just don't know what I do because I can't go into my water move. I cannot go into my stab move. I'm going to have to Dynamax here. I think Lightning might have to be my play. Wait, is Lightning going to have to be my play? Hmm. As much as I want to. Who do I, who do I take out here? I could go after, you know, this slot. But he's going to swap the ground all day. I don't really want to go for Lightning. I think we have to go for a Hailstorm in this slot. That seems so annoying, though. That scene is so annoying, though. Um, I am going to go for a trick from here if I can land it, you know. Let's see how this one plays out here. He's going to withdraw the ground on. Yeah. So, luckily, we went to the ice move. I just thought maybe he would send Zacian or swap out Zacian, you know. But if he goes after Kyogre, we can pop this trick room. We could be we could be sitting good. If we can get this trick room off, that could be a great turn for us. But I think Gastron can eat up this Hailstorm. I really do. Just tough moves. Real tough moves. Oh, my God. This battle's too close. This battle's too good. I think it comes down to who's ass and goes after at this point, right? Thank God we uh we know that's in our back of our head about the uh, gash on. But Behemoth Blade is going to fly through here, and that takes out my Calyrex, right? Go after Kyogre, please. No, he takes out my Calyrex all day. The Calyrex finally goes out. Mm. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. Unless we can take out gash on here. If we can take out gash on here, that could be huge. Because then we can start sending water moves. Hailstorm's going to fly. Take him out, please. Please get rid of this Pokemon. I don't know if we can. 
Oh my god, we put him on one, but Buffett should be able to take him out if... Oh wait, what goes first? I think left should go first. Oh, that's ugly. Don't, don't do me dirty like that. Actually, Buffett's are coming first. Buffett's are coming first, take him out. Let's go, Buffett's come out first. Beautiful. So Gastron's gone. Um, he's gonna set the heat. Um, I don't know what to do. I need to, I need to pick up KO here. So obviously, I could go after Zassian, but my, but my 100% play is gonna be take out Groudon and change the weather and then go after him. That's 100% my play. But I just don't think we're eating up two shots from Zass. It's doable, it definitely is doable, but we have the guys here. With the guys are straight across with 150 base power. Yo, what a battle. Yo, first battle going the distance. Solid plays all around. Is he protecting the ogre? He does not. Well, not the ogre, the ground on. How much can we soak up this? How much are we soaking up? E! He might be able to soak up another one. You go first, Kyogre? Kyogre, go first. I do go first. Hold up. Wait a minute. If I can soak up one more blade here, I don't know how much damage I just did. It's going to be cutting it close. It is going to be cutting it so close. I cannot max guard. His his right play would be protect here. His right play would be 100% protect here. But if he doesn't protect him, we can eat up this blade. How much damage did that do? I might have did a little bit more than a 150. It's kind of close. But if we can eat up a blade and, and send this, is he going to protect? He does not. He goes for a blade. Eat it up, Ogre. For the win. This, 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 is, this is the last play of the game. Eat this up, please. Eat it up. Soak it up all day. It's you. Oh my god, so close, man. So close. What a battle. What a first battle. We go 0 1 for today's video. Not too shabby. That guy made some great protects. If he didn't make any protects, or a few of them, Tyrantrum would have picked up some big damage and we would have won. I wish we would have won that first battle because that battle was so good all around from our opponent and from myself. We made some great plays early on in the beginning by making that hard read of him going into my Mimikyu. So I protected him and threw a curveball and trick him with Calyrex, which literally kept us in the game. It kept us in the game, and then he made some great protects by blocking the will o -Wisp, blocking the Tyrantrum shots, all that good stuff. But we're hopping into our second battle. Let's grab ourselves our first victory for today's video, going up against a Kai Ogre Zassian team with uh, Regilecki, Incineroar, and he's got Kartana alongside with, you know, Grimmsnarl. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I could speed swap and just get after this... Uh, this Kyogre if I really want to, but um, hmm. I kind of want to try that. I kind of want to go here and here. Try to get off some big damage and roll out on the battle, right? That could be pretty solid for us, but I don't know. I do not know. We could do that with the Ogre. We could go Kyogre and maybe like you. Or Faramosa. I do like the Faramosa combo. Faramosa and the Ogre. So what's your speed at? I see I have 20 seconds left, but I got to check your speed. He's 23. Wow, that's a fast, that's a fast little, little guy. That's a fast little guy. I go mimic you. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go you. I ran some Calyrex. That's my play. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, Sableye is really good because I can quash whoever I want. Kind of just get after the battle that way. Especially if he has Pokemon faster than me. You know, just quash it. Send a water spout. Roll from there. It sounds pretty good. Or I can Dynamax my uh, Kyogre right off the rip. Which is not a bad play. Which would not be a bad play whatsoever. But let's just see who he leads. Is it gonna be Reggie? Gonna be Zassian and Kyogre. So Zassian and Kyogre are gonna poke out on the field. And I, I'm not too mad about this. I'm, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I think I'm just gonna have to Dynamax my Kyogre turn one here. Right, Dynamax and Kyogre sounds really good. That sounds really good for me. Is that what I wanna do? You wanna Dynamax Ogre turn one? I could drop a Thunder. Or I can Geyser into uh, this slot right here thinking of doing and then with you i could you know just trick this guy or i can pick it out or i can pick out zassy and lightning on the side just in case he wants to protect oh yeah i'm all about that i'm all about that that's my play we're on lightning right here get some damage off on you and then just fake out zassy right? yeah because Zassian might protect this turn i'd rather not waste a dime next turn like that so i'm gonna roll up with this plus we are soul fest so we can soak up what kyogre has to offer and he's just going to withdraw his assing, so that's a solid turn for us. I'm going to withdraw him and go into Grim and Grim. So Grim Charles can come out of here. I'm cool with that. We're dropping a lady on that slot anyway. And then uh, next turn, we can kind of just work from there. We can just work from there because I can start dropping geysers left and right. I can start dropping geysers left and right. But I am worried about that Zassian in the back. Zassian is a scary little Pokemon. Especially with my Tyrantrum on the field. Leave my Tyrantrum. And my Calyrex. And my Calyrex with no Trick Room. I mean, I could potentially pop a Trick Room with him, which could be huge. I can get him out there and pop a Trick Room. Me sitting so good. Fake out to come out here. Just get a little bit of chip damage on the Grimmsnarl. And what is that? Eject button? 
Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> He's a jack button. Sableye is also a jack button. Let's see how this one plays out here. Who's he going to go into from here? There's no way he goes back in his ad scene, so he's going to show his full team. He goes into Cinnamon. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. I do not mind it. He cannot fake out any of me, and uh, Intimidate really don't do much. I like it. Kyra, can my Kyra go first? That could be huge if, he, if we do. We do. That's beautiful. So Lightning's going to fly here. Not going to pick up the KO, but chip up a lot of damage. So hopefully he's going for a Water Spout. So it does like virtually nothing to my Pokemon. And then a Jack Button, my Sableye out, and get out uh, Calyrex. Could be play. Let's see what he goes for. He's going for a spout. He's going for a calm mind setup. So that's fine because we do outspeed and we know for a fact that what's called this pick up the KO. We know for a fact that uh that we can pick up the KO here. The lightning. So I could drop another lightning in that slot. He could protect it. Um what do I do? Is that what I do or do I guys are on slot? I could do this and I could, you know. Just trick. Which, yeah, I'm going to do that. Actually, all oh, pranks don't work on him. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I, mm, I clicked without thinking. Lightning's still going to fly here. That's fine. Can you hit up onto my Sableye, please? Can you please hit up onto my Sableye? That would be beautiful. I just want him to eject me out. But we still have Trick. We still have Trick. So I can eject button anybody I want. You going to throw a chop. Okay, cool. So there goes my eject button. Um, we think he goes back in his ass at this point. Do we think he goes back in his ass -ing? That's the real question. Hmm. I think we're gonna go into, go into, gonna go into Calyrex. Cause if he goes to Zassian, I can protect and you know just throw a uh, a geyser that way. And if he doesn't, you know we can go for a trick and pop. Let's see who he rolls into here. Hopefully he doesn't go into Zassian. I would love to pop a trick from here. I would love to get off trick room. Show me your final Pokemon. I think I go for trick room regardless, right? Cause either I geyser and take out the Zassian. What do I do? I don't know. Nah, I think I have to protect. If Zassian comes out on the field, I have to protect my Calyrex. Because Kyger should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. We'll see. We'll see his dudes play. We shall see. But yeah, we still have Sableye in the back to quash later. He's going to go into Zassian here. Zassian is going to poke. I don't see him Dynamaxing. I, I think we just protect him and go into a straight Geyser. Right? Let's Geyser in this slot. Geyser. And just protect. I right, popped the room. The room full of tricks could be good. But now nah, we're gonna protect. We're gonna block the shot. We are indeed gonna block the shot. He might Dynamax in Cinnamon. I feel like he's like down to like a last ditch kind of thing. I feel like he is. But I, I want to get Tyrantrum out here, battle number two. I want to go strong jaw. I just want to start ripping with the strong jaw, baby. Choice band too. I just want to see how much damage I can really do. He's gonna go for the blade. Great protect by us. We should be able to take out a uh, Dassy no problem. And then he might party shot into us. The Zassian's gone. I think I pop a trick him at this point. And our opponent just quit the battle. He just turned off his switch. We love it. We love it, yo. He turned off his switch mid geyser. So we take that victory all day. We're sitting at one and one. You guys know we're hopping into that third final battle. And I'm definitely going to be showing off Tyrantrum in that battle. So you guys know after somebody quits the battle, it shows the rest of the turn. The Max Geyser ended up picking up the KO on the Zassian. And he ended up doubling down into my protected Calyrex. So he tried parting shotting. So... It makes sense why he quit. He doubled down with Behemoth Blade and Parting Shot, and it both got blocked. So once he saw me protect, he's like, nah, son, I'm done with this game. Never playing it again. Probably went to GameStop and returned it and got like $2 for it. <laughs> but it's hilarious. Let's hop into this third and final battle. We're going up against a Reggie Gigas team with Weezing and then Calyrex, Kyogre, Rillaboom, and Urshfu. So this one's kind of tough, kind of scary, not going to lie. But I want to get Tire Ranch out here and have some fun with it. I could go Kyogre, too. I could go Kyogre, too. I kind of like the Kyogre lead. Or I could go, you know, my boy Mimikyu, who cannot get hit by normal moves. And pop a Trick Room. Trick Room is sounding beautiful. Or, you know what? Watch it. I think he's going to go. I, I got this all. I got, I got this, guys. I got this, guys. Don't worry. I got this, guys. Don't don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> don't worry. I got this. I'm going to go into here. This is going to be my squad. We're not going to bring Calyrex in this battle. He's going to leave Regigigas. I'm going to trick it. I'm going to Shadow Sneak. Bang. See you later. Send him out off to the moon. And we're going to be gone. That's my play all day. That's my play all day. Go ahead. Just, just lead the Regigigas. If he doesn't lead the Regigigas, we, pro we probably just get absolutely dominated by this battle. But then we can pop a Trick Room at that point. Maybe make something happen. Because we still have the Kyogre. We still have Tyrantrum. Like I said, I have to show off Tyrantrum here. Who's he going to go into? Regigigas. Bang, bang. Ba bang, bang. Let's go. Step number one is a go. Step number one is a go. 
Oh, but we don't have prankster. What's your speed, Sableye? What is your speed? I swear, come on, yo. I can prankster. It's no go. It's no go. I'm trick room, but I'm still gonna go for this trick. I could fake out. I think that's probably our play. Just so we get off the trick room. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I forgot I forgot about uh prankster was my ability. <laughs> I forgot about that. That hurts. That hurts the soul just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. And we end up going for trick room here, so I'm kinda I'm liking this turn. This is for Dark Slayer. We going after. This is after Mimikyu, so there's my disguise. I'm cool with that. And I can throw a burn on him next turn. I do like that. So we're gonna lose some HP. He's gonna flinch. We're gonna get off free Ooh. Ooh. So now we're playing this one a bit slower here. Playing this one a bit slower. Let's drop a nice little Willow Wisp here. And I'm gonna keep my Jackbun because I really want him to swap out after this. I'm just gonna go into you. Two of some damage. I really want my uh Sable Eye to swap out. I'm gonna get out like Pokemon like Tyrant. That is what I wanna do. That is what I wanna do. Hmm. 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 Let me keep thinking here. Let me keep thinking, because my whole thing was messed up. Once he popped out that, I was like, dude, we don't have pranks anymore because of, new, because of neutralizing gas. And it ruined everything. That's what's so good about Regigigas. We made some great plays with the, with the fake out. The fake out was our, was our backup plan, which worked well. That play's going to come in here. We're going we're to chip off some damage. Maybe Q is going to land a burn on a big old physical attack. So that's a big time burn. Onto will Regigigas. We love it. Can somebody hit my uh, Sableye? Just so I can eject out. He's going to taunt me. Don't taunt me. Hit me. Just please hit me. Just hit me already. And I have my mental herb. <laughs> Just wasted that turn. Please hit me. I was probably coming in. Oh my god, dude. Someone KO me. Might have to swap here. Might have to swap. Might have to swap. <laughs> this is kind of annoying. I'm just gonna throw a burn over on you then. Burn you. I could keep chipping up damage. I think I want to swap you. Get Ty Ranch out here. But then if he drops a higher horsepower. Ooh. ooh. Did somebody just hit me already? No, no, I'm staying in with him. I'm gonna do this. All right, come on. We need to get our Tyrantrum for his trick room. Like, I need him to hit me. And he's gonna max. He's gonna max. I'm cool with that. He's gonna max. Please, yo, hit my Sableye already. Or take out my Mimikyu. One of them's gotta go, because I want some turns with my Tyrantrum. Because I don't mind Kyogre without the trick room. I can Dynamax him a lot strong. Let's see what he does. He's gonna Dynamax that Pokemon as he's burned. I do not mind. I do not mind it. Imagine I just shadow sneaked with my own Mimikyu just to proc my eject button. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be the worst play ever. Well, it's going to come out here. We're going to connect. We have two burns on it. Cool. Dope. Run it. Run it. See how some plays. He's going to sub. That's fine. That's fine. You can sub all day. He's going to go for darkness. Please KO whoever you're going after. KO my Mimikyu. Take him out, please. Oh my lord! <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't do it. When I want my Pokemon to die, it does not die. Okay, cool. It's fine. He's orb and burn's gonna be chipping away. Burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn, 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 burn. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna. How many turns off the trick room? Three, two, two. All right, someone's gotta die here, right? Someone's gotta go. So Tyrantrum should be able to get off the turn. Um, I don't know what I do. I, I, I don't know what I do. Shadow sneak, I guess. Over in there. It really does nothing. I just foul play into you. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. We can't throw a will o -wisp. Like, Trickham's going to do nothing. I just want to turn with my Tyrantrum, man. I actually got to do work. I mean, that thing's going to go down to burn soon anyway. But with him on the field, we cannot strong jolt, which is a little upsetting. That play's doing a really solid amount of damage. Which is huge. And this thing is just going to go into a sludge bomb. And we're gonna be forced to. Okay, he goes down. Okay, cool. That's fine. So we're gonna be able to get our Kai Ogre and and Strong Jaw Boy and Strong Jaw Boy. We love Dark is gonna fly through here. We should be able to suck that up, but the Jack Button's gonna pull us away. The Jack Button's gonna pull us away. Okay. I don't mind it, and I'm gonna Dynamax my Ogre here. Dynamax my Kai Ogre. I'm Dynamaxing Ogre all day. 
And the real problem here is uh, what's called. A real problem here is going to be actually I could get back out Sableye. <laughs> I want to bring out Strong Jaw guy. I want to get out Strong Jaw guy. We're just gonna take him out next turn maybe. That's kind of close. That's kind of close. Could go back into you, but uh, I'm gonna save you. Look at Tyrantrum. I'm gonna save him for the Quash later in the match. This Quash could be huge, especially with Kyogre out on the field. We're not playing bad. We're not playing bad here. I could double down. I, I'm gonna have to double down on him, but what move do I double down or a choice into? Fire's not looking bad, but Drizzle's gonna eventually come back out. You know? Drizzle comes back out, so Ice is probably our play. Right? Ice could be super effective onto that uh, roll boom. I am gonna choice to Ice. Ice Fang! Yeah, yeah. Or, if he has Kyogre of, of his own, he could go into a Thunder Fang. But Thunder Fang's a little bit of a problem. I think he does have roll boom, and roll boom's my only big threat. So, you know what? I'm gonna go into an Ice Fang here. And we'll double down into him, even though I think he does guard. I could drop off its. Ah, what do I do? I guess we'll just double down. Because, you know, we're just going to let that uh, that Weezing go down. Yeah, I'm going to die next year. Let's do it. Let's roll. Let's do it. Hopefully he doesn't. I want to I wanna, I wanna get some damage off with that Ranchum. Even though Strong Jaw isn't out and about right now. I still like the choice band damage. I still like the choice band damage. All right, let's do it. Going to max in our ogre. We still have Sable Sable in the back end. Sable Sable still in the back end. No max charge from him, please. No max charge. Ice Fang comes out here. Bruh. 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 We miss our Ice Fang? Can you go next, Kyogre? Thank you. Okay. That should take him out, right? That should take him out, I believe. We miss our Ice Fang? Take him out, please. Get rid of him. Thank you. Miss our Ice Fang. That's atrocious. That's atrocious that we miss our Ice Fang. I'm not worried about that, uh, that wheezing. There. He's just gonna taunt me. He's gonna do dumb stuff. I mean, if he has Willow us, that probably would have been a play to send him on my like, Tyrant Trump. But we're trying to let that thing go down to burn, which should be able to eat up this burn. Yeah, next burn. Trick him is gone, which is a little upsetting. I could swap back into uh, Sableye. It really depends who he goes into at this point. He's gonna go into Kyogre. I kinda wanna swap back into Sableye as we drop a lightning in that slot. I am scared of that thing. I am just gonna let Sable. Actually, no, I want Sableye for my Quash. I do want Sableye for my Quash. Do you think Lightning can come out here first? It might. But I'm terrified of that, uh. Of that Origin Pulse. He goes for Water Spell. See a Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum doesn't get a turn all day. Are you kidding me, yo? I'm just trying to showcase my Tyrantrum. I'm just trying to showcase my Tyrantrum. We would have had it in battle number one and two. But he. he Actually, no, we, yeah, but he was making some good protects and all that good stuff. That's atrocious. That's tough news, dude. I just want Tyrantrum out here. That does hurt the soul. Okay, so that thing's gonna go down to burn. And wait, why did that thing get rain? Oh, because it's his Pokemon. Okay, I got it. He gets abilities. That's cool. That's fine. All right, that's cool. Now, Sludge Bomb's gonna come out, or, uh, Weezing's gonna go down here. We're probably gonna win this battle, but I really want to showcase Tyrantrum, man. I did use this team like practicing off screen and Tyrantrum was ripping. It was ripping, dude. I was actually using more so with like Fairy Mills. Alright, so we have a Prankster. We have a Prankster back. I could take off Sash, which is probably my play. Or I could drop Buffets. What's that player? What's a Jeans player? Could quash somebody. Quash, trick, foul play. Um, I could fake out, obviously. Hmm. I want to just take that sash, man. I think it might protect the ogre. I'm going to take the sash. I'm just going to rip into this thing. I can win the 1v1 all day. I can win the, can win the 1v1 all day. I'm just going to trick it. I'm going to say, hey, yo, give me that. I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, yo. Give me, give me, give me your focus sash. Yeah, so we take his focus sash. He's going to go for an Astro Barrage. That will take on my Sableye all day. And uh, we are going to be able to take out that, uh, that what's it called? A Calyrex. We are 100% going to be able to take out Calyrex in prom. And Water Spell, oh, he might be choice now. That's GG's. That's GG's. We got this battle in the bag. In the bag. So good good call by us by taking that focus. That's probably my best bet there. Leave Calyrex off on the field. Just get it out of here. Go on. Cool. Because that Calyrex had another turn, it was just going to slowly start chipping out away from me. Especially because that was my last Dynamax turn, right? That was definitely my last Dynamax turn. Right? Wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So great call by us to just, you know, it was like focus ashes hours. But I'm still upset because I wanted to get that Tyrantrum out here for you guys. 
That one's on me. But trust me, guys, that Tyrantrum can rip. We're going to go for Thunder. 100% accuracy. That's GG's. We got the Electric Train out and about. Battle was canceled. Beautiful set of battles from us. Series 12 Tyrantrum team prevails with a winning record. You got to love it. I wish we got to show off Tyrantrum a little bit more. We got him in a battle, but he was just getting ripped on by all the good restrictive mods. Zassian one-tapped him. Kyogre one-tapped him. But, like, he played really good all around. He's posing a threat, soaking up some shots, all that good stuff. Just wish I would have got some big damage off because I'm telling you guys, I use him off screen, and he rips with that strong jaw and that choice span. But, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.